Hey guys, this is really not funny at all. <laughs> Nigerians in shock as General Christopher Musa reviews how locals used to invite bandits to go after Nigerian troops when they pass. And now the question is, are they not the same people the Nigerian soldiers are trying to protect? Why are they doing this to themselves? You know, sir, don't they talk these same things? How can these people be getting this intelligence report about the Nigerian soldiers? And the next thing you go here say they don't push them, they don't finish them. How are they getting the intelligence report? Talking about the bandits. This will shock you. As Christopher, General Christopher Musa, the, the Nigerian chief of defense staff, reviews, exposes the northerners what they have been doing in this course of fighting banditry in the north. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. General Christopher Musa, the Chief of Defense Staff, has underlined the necessity of teamwork in battling criminal forces, emphasizing that the military is not the only institution responsible for this. He questioned who finances and provides logical assistance for these terrorists and at Lord's voicing concerns about support. He disclosed that certain people, including those who live nearby, trade with the crooks. He emphasized that the villagers alert the bandits of the military's operation when they travel through a region, providing information like the quantity of vehicles uh, and the soldiers. He exposed the various Contr uh, contributors to the bandits' activities, including doctors providing medical assistance and musicians performing for them. He shed light on the financial motivations that drive individuals to collaborate with criminals. He said in an interview with Daily Trust TV, there are criminals joined together in this fight. Good people must join together to fight evil. The mistake we made making it uh, is that it is only the military that should do it. Let me tell you a shocking thing. Who are the people funding these guys? He asked. Who are the people giving them money? Who are the people giving them the logistics to work? People are trading with them. When the troops pass an area, the locals will call the bandits and tell them the troops just passed. They will tell them the numbers of vehicles and the number of troops. There are people that do that, do that. and it's their business. We have doctors that go to the bush to treat them in the north. We have women that carry women to them. We have musicians to go that go to the bush to sing for them because... Maybe if the man goes to sink somewhere, they might give him 500,000. But those guys will give him 1 million naira or 200 million. So when he thinks about the money he's making, he forget that it is blood money. Exactly. It is blood money. So you see the reason why fighting uh, insecurity Muslim in the north is going to be very difficult. People are playing along with them because of their the, the, the financial benefits they are getting. And these the same people are the people who are crying that they are being killed. It's so very, very unfortunate that our soldiers are dying just like that. Yes, they 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 now put the soldiers at risk. And it's also because of the bad attitude of soldiers that displays towards the public. Someone said that. So bandits informed uh, informants and now locals. These khaki boys think they can continue playing on people's intelligence forever. <laughs> Some officials are making money through these guys. 
they are the ones sponsoring these guys with all the needs. This is hard truth someone say. They will later blame the military when the bandits unleash terror on them. That is the, the vicious circle we found ourselves in Nigeria, especially in the north and the southeast. After you discover that the locals are sabotaging your effort, arrest them to track the bandits. We are not all foolish. What in APC they do with a knee when they not feed fish out these people? Okay. Well, these are reactions from Nigerians. There are so many, so many points you know to point out. Talking about the fighting of a banditry and the soldiers in Nigeria. If we can record that there was a time they made it compulsory in Nigeria, that you must register your sin. They told Nigerians you have to cooperate, and Nigerians they cooperated. Ah, easy. This this will make it easy for the government to track uh, bandits and all that. Is that happening? Okay, now we're talking about the community people because those ones too, their own day, their body. When I know these people, where then they stay, right? When I know their their hideout and all that, these are the same people we come out from their house, then go attack on them. When I go take them, when I go swallow them. The next day, go see come out, go throw party. When I go go meet them, when I go drink. The matter get as it be. And some people, just like what he said, some people are making money, not just the locals. Yes. Not just the locals. General, retired General Dan Juma Ali Cafe said the other time, he said, see, there are some military men who are doing this. This is their job. They understand. They do not want the, the fight of this uh, banditry to end in Nigeria because they are making a lot of money from it. He also mentioned how they killed the former chief of army staff. He said the death that killed Ibrahim at Tyro, it was not ordinary. It was planned and all that. I was thinking that by now, the government for don't investigate that matter. But as they don't talk up, this one, they don't sweep and pull for inside the river. You don't carry and go. Nigerians, there is problem. Big problem. I bet make a drop out for there. What's your take on this one now? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.